Hey, what's going on guys? For this video, I'm going to be talking about if you hate milk spots, you need to stop buying this coin. Now, the coin I'm going to be talking about specifically that I found to be one of the worst, if not potentially the worst, is the Royal Mint coins, in particular the Britannia. This Britannia here is a fairly new Britannia. It's not been taken out of the capsule. This capsule is very sturdy. I mean, it's not in amazing condition. I don't know if that is the case or not. I haven't taken it out. But Royal Mint Britannia coins, although I think the design is great, they are one of the worst, if not potentially the worst, coins to milk spot and i think plenty of us would agree potentially that they do spot however you can prevent this spotting by taking care of your coins and not handling them so much you can use gloves i used to use gloves for them and i did a previous video where i talked about many of us will like to have our bars silver in good condition now in terms of bullion it's not essential it does affect the price ever so slightly but it's really not much and i think in terms of handling your silver don't let me or anyone else tell you you can't handle your silver because it is entirely all up to you but in terms of the coins that i've experienced the britannias in particular are Probably the worst in my experience to milk spot. And you can use gloves, like I said, but it's completely up to you. Uh, the uh, Canadian maples, they don't seem to be as bad as they were. I used to have a couple of 2012 ones at the start of when I made the videos. I traded them in, so I no longer have them. But um, yeah, these seem to be a little bit better. And the Canadian Mint have actually gone out of their way to improve the design. I personally think it looks better. It You can see on there, it's very, I think it's quite good. I think it's quite a good looking coin still. I think it's actually even better than the previous ones. And they've just added a mint shield on there. In terms of mirror finishes as well, they're very susceptible to milk spotting as well so you need to be careful with handling yourself if you don't want to milk spot them but i mean in terms of bullion it's really not that big of a deal really unless you want to keep it milk spot free potentially one of the worst things i think that can happen is if you get this type of a coin a royal mint coin in let's say a graded slab you get a Mint State 70 or a PF 70, let's say Britannia or a Proof Britannia, in an NGC case or a PCGS case, and it milk spots. For a collector, it's probably one of the worst things that can happen. When you buy really expensive silver, you know, really expensive premium silver, the last thing you're going to want to do is buy something that's going to spot with milk. Now, it's not to confuse the frosting that some coins come with. The Kookaburra, for example, is a frosted coin. It's got this frosting, this white frosting, which is not to be confused with milk spotting. It's part of the design on there. It's the design of the coin which makes it stand out. You can clearly see that when you, when you take that and you take a milk spot, for example, you can see a slight milk spot on there. But uh, in terms of bullion, don't worry so much about it. But in terms of the Britannia, in terms of the video, these coins are the worst in terms of milk spotting. And I'd like to hear your thoughts if you found something that's even worse than the Britannias. I really like the design, but it just seems like the Royal Mint, uh, whether they're completely oblivious to it i highly doubt that i think it might be something out of their control 
I'm sure they're fully aware of it and how susceptible it is. And um, it seems to be a problem from other mints as well. The maples in particular before the mint shield came in, which probably delays the process, but we'll see. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. And uh, let me know what coins you think are particularly bad in terms of milk spotting. And uh, yeah, please like this video, leave a comment and subscribe if you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye for now.